What's up, guys? This is Javi, and we are going to do a quick fix, which is, as you guys should know, a news roundup of the week or news that we missed in the week. So let's get right into it. So after five years of denying paternity, Ayotzin has now acknowledged that he is the father of DJ Amber's daughter. Ayotzin on Thursday posted a photo of the child showing off medals won at a sports day on his Instagram page with the caption, when your babies are champions, Malia Muir and Ashika Muir or Ashik Muir. So should I say and apologize publicly to DJ Amber? Yeah, damn right you should apologize. <laughs> um, let me preface what I'm going to say by saying this. I Octane is a good artist. Alright, he make good songs. I'll yeah. beat enough songs about bad mind and about them youth there, them boy there, etc. etc. I, I Octane is a good, good artist, but he has a reputation of being somewhat of a fussy, I can say that, right? Yes, of a <laughs> no. Ah, sorry. She he has like, a reputation no. of being somewhat of a disgusting individual or having disgusting ten tendencies. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. We we have personal experience of that. You well, did. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> so, if she him did a deny this girl how much years, it basically slut shame her. Wow. And uh, we don't hear no public apology. Probably apologize privately, but we yeah. need that public apology. That I nice. wonder if the girl never win no medal, if he would have taken a picture and show her after. I wonder. <laughs> Ari, what you got to say? All I know says some people not forget Father's Day, Happy Father's Day ever, ever in life. <laughs> no matter if you're good or you're bad, never, ever. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine when she gets older and she sees, she sees how... No, it's not mine, it's not mine. She cannot feel good. Nobody wants to be thrown away or abandoned or denied so even if you come and accept it sure you'll be fine but you kind of oh, it's going to always be a little at the back off. of your mind yeah, right you know, say geez when me did born he never want me never did claim him never want claim me so it's <laughs> kind of going to be off but i agree that she should get a public apology i feel like since it happened publicly yeah there should be some sort of um um apology or remedy yeah. in the public so somebody I can watch my card i'm also upset i get keyed <laughs> Sad. <laughs> really? That's right. why no one likes you now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic. So Spice has secured her first major partnership with a corporate company. She signed a deal with Sparone Moscato, Jamaica, and is now the company's newest ambassador. So what do we think about this deal? I'm happy that she she got corporate Spirona. sponsorship. Yeah, and I, um, the, the story goes on to say that she said that she was a bit apprehensive at first because she never wanted the company. Corporate, she always felt like corporate would want her to tone down yeah. and change her and Spice, the, the Spice brand, which is known to be raunchy oh, and it's sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that, you know, them accept her as she is mm. Come the as way you she are, are. <laughs> she are the yes. way she are the way that? she are did you hear? I heard that she went, she went down to it I'm, I'm happy that they ac accept her for for Spice yeah, mm -hmm. the, only no, the only knock I've, I've had on Spice as an artist is that she need to diversify the catalog a bit but she yeah. that she's this raw dancer it's good that you know Corporate companies, companies can look upon and say ah, sponsorship. Uh, I'm just surprised that a, a, a she company never sponsored first. <laughs> uh, that would have been do we know any brand and brand sheets? Men or no? Yeah. But would I know I after know. them sponsor? Well, True. for our appearance, <laughs> we are buying no sheets. You know what it is? They don't really look at the sheet, the brand. They look at the thread count. Is it 600 Egyptian cotton? 600. Um, I don't know count. these things. So what? you've never <laughs> listen. I've slept on a 700 cone thread thread cone sheet, and I tell you, I died and I gone to heaven. It was amazing. <laughs> you know, I'll go back to the 200 dollar when them sell downtown. Yeah, so I guess spice gone. the sheet yeah. company. Are the link spice next, I guess. Yes. And just yes. make sure she give us cool. And it's hope though, but then it's I just want to say it's like hope for other artists coming up. Like you know, you don't yeah. have to change. You mm -hmm. can somebody out there would see what they want and then say that well, you know what, we can align our, our brand to like uh, uh, she, she yeah. raise our cash that you know it don't matter. She just big. So, mm. yeah, you know, matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, next up. So, Jamil and Shensia released the official music video of their collab. Tell me. <laughs> what are your thoughts about this collab? Um, the, the song video? the song is, is, is a good song. Um, the video, all right, is all right. 
Yeah, um, but so yeah, because I agree with the Nara. I think yeah. like because of the, the excitement with them creep on Instagram, yeah. I expect this bomb video. They, them just shoot it at one location. Like, I'm just find a yard and just shoot. It's a nice looking yard. With a super high bed. You know bend. what I mean? <laughs> I, we, we I remember I saw her when on Instagram and she's supposed to come off the bed. She literally had to jump. And I was mm. just yeah. like, nah, bro. And then bred the outer style from long time. <laughs> from when you're you supposed to be You're going to look for your granny and you say, you jump. Jumping at the bed beside grandma. Yeah, like no. That, big up that Jamil, big up Shensia. I yeah. like the color. I like the two of them together as a collaboration, not necessarily as a couple. You people out there <laughs> who love to spread them people, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big up the two of them. But no, yeah, I like I, the video. I agree though. The video, I yeah. but mm-hmm. the collab is good. Yeah. Okay. And our final topic is so Pampute has been making the rounds with the latest local social media sensation Barbara Palmer. The straight talking mother of three became an inter- internet sensation. Get it together, Javier. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. After, after a video of her was posted to Pampute's Instagram account, went viral. So the 46 year old Palmer says that it's her dream to start in a roots play. What are your thoughts about Barbara? When I first saw it, I was just like, I see that I, Barbara I'm, the Barbie. Yeah, Kimmy says Barbara the Barbie. Oh, Barbara the Barbie. <laughs> well, I, f- I saw her first. I was like, oh, okay, all right. And that next one trying to come into the making. One. Yeah, another one. Mm-hmm. Um, but what Pam and I think that the gesture that Pampity is doing, like I think that Pampity kind of doing a little makeover, you know, give her nails and yeah, hair. Yeah, hair and though. But to me, I'm not saying it's insincere. I'm not saying it's disingenuous. I'm just saying. It's not natural. It's like, you know, it's like a push, you know, when somebody mm-hmm. try to push somebody. Yeah. It feels like that to me. You this know? is a thing. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Barbara is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, and, and she's funny too, you know, like, I'm not lying. She's funny and she, she you know, she into it. Mm-hmm. But uh, to me, I just don't think it's an organic push. That's the really? only difference. I, I like that. Is a, I, and I don't believe that there's ulterior motives on Pampate part. She really mm-hmm. wants to do a good gesture. But it's just... It's just not good. Like, you know, it just seems mm. fake. Yeah, you know why I'm a feel so? Because at first, she did just do a random video with yeah. her. Like, she had said, Barbara, we're living on my ear. I'm going to put her up on Instagram because she want people to see how she's funny. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she realized the push with the video they yeah. might get. And she said, oh, all right, I'll take it around with it. So she start make it seem like... Yeah, yeah. Elpar, yeah. Right, and I'm not saying that you know the dress that she do wear, you know, it's Cara, nice. Me, yeah, it's a yeah, nice thing. Cara, I'm not saying it's anything ulterior or anything, you know, I like should trying to do anything malicious. Yeah, and 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 um evil. That's not, that's an ex- exaggerated word, but just saying malicious. Yeah, yeah. It. but I just don't think it's natural. I'm um, what me can't believe out of the story is that she's 46. Mm. She look much older to me. Um, I choose she. Yeah, she look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that's forty six. So yeah. Um, we upset Pampete now. Do not no duplicitous acts. Big up Miss Kitty. Um, with them thing that with, with what with this push that we see. Mm-hmm. As we say, it just seem kind of forced. It not seem natural like uh, some other social media sensations we've seen in the past. What I will say is this. Yeah. I hope our our, fini- our 15 minutes of fame last longer than um <laughs> yeah, Cliff Yeah, she said she wants to go into a, um, a roots place. place. Well, yeah. I hope that, that I, I yeah. hope says so not because usually them type of people are them type of thing I don't really have a long shelf life. Nice. You can ask Cliff Twang, you can ask Rosie. Um, you can ask Rosie Just and them. Uh, yeah, you can ask it like you see uh, them for a moment and then they're gone. So enjoy Barbara while she lasts because mm-hmm. you may not be seeing two years from now you, you may hear so them fall out and say Barbara say, oh you know give me taxi fare for go this and go that so just prepare <laughs> yourself people it's a possibility big yeah. up Barbara do I hope, Barbara, I hope everything works out for you yes, I'm a pretty like Barbie doll yeah. <laughs>